Hello folks and welcome back. Not going to be doing no challenge tonight. We're going to be doing an unboxing from two different artists. This is uh, the tool and I picked up some more. A uh, couple more yards of it yesterday. I was in Lubbock. She called it, um, what did she call it? It was spider glitter. Yeah, spider glitter tool. Something. She has it. It'll be in the video. We we took a video in Joanne's when we was getting it. See, there's a receipt. <laughs> that needs to go in the ugly dog box. Yes, it does. Okay. So I found a couple of more that I want to try. Uh, I hope y'all will stick with me while I'm trying. I found this, and I don't want to buy very much of this, but I can cut this into certain sections and use pieces. This was thirty dollars a yard. Well, it's because it has one of those sequins on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't realize that till I got to the damn checkout counter, but I didn't care. So this I'm gonna cut and just use certain parts of it. Uh, it's not one that I would very much recommend. Let me be the guinea pig on this one, folks. Uh, we'll see what we can find to get done with that. I just thought it was kind of interesting and it caught my eye. Now this one, oh, I got paint in here, honey. I forgot I bought paint too. Some more paints. This one is going to be an interesting one. right here. That piece of that fan in the middle will be really pretty. Yeah, I already got an idea for this. Uh, Y'all just have to stick with me and watch. Uh, if you know anybody getting married, you want to paint them some gifts, give them some fishing lure gifts and do it with this. <laughs> so, that, that makes a great groomsman's gift. Oh, I, mean, I thought about that. Oh my gosh. So, uh, yeah, I got some ideas for these, so we'll have to see what we get done out of this. And this one was fairly cheap; it wasn't expensive at all. Neither this one is not too terrible. I think it's eight dollars a yard. Uh, if you can't find it, uh, she'll link you to Joanne's, and I imagine that you can probably order it from them, and they'll ship it to you. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I didn't find it online on the Joanne site, but if nothing else, I can get some next time I'm in Lubbock and yeah, I'll sell I can, it to you. I can cut you a little bit off here and sell it to you. Yeah. I've got like 12 more yards over here because I bought a whole spool of it one time. Yeah, and it comes so, in different colors, so don't think that you have to go in there and look for this white with the silver glitter on it. Oh no, it's red and it's blue purple, and pink blue and, and pink purple. And and we don't really care what color it is; it's the pattern we want out of it anyway. Yeah. So. But it might be hard to recognize in Joanne's if. Yeah. Well, the video shows more. Yeah, we got it all on video, and it's going to be mixed in with this video as to where we get it and. Uh, I hope that helps some of you. If you can't find it, let us know and we'll we'll get you some shipped out to you. So. They have it in purple and silver and red. They don't make a shit what color it is. Oh, and black. Yeah. And what's this one in blue? Is it the same or is it a little different? It might be a little different. This one's definitely Green. different. No, it's the same. It's the same. It's just pink. Yeah. There's the white. Yep, that will work. Specialty netting. Yes. It is seven ninety nine a yard. Ooh. So. You're special. I am special. This is scale material. Right here you can find it all in the 
staff section and you can get it about 200 different damn colors here see this one's even different if you look at it no it's the same it's just different color yeah. formal wear fabrics all the same price look at this one this one's kind of unusual i've never seen that one before oh i know i dropped everything yeah i wouldn't put that in there. well there it is how about this one no don't much care for that this is where i find all my crazy stuff to put on my bait that one's a triangle, and that one's a triangle too. You don't want triangles? Uh uh. No. We used to use triangles. Ooh. You could make some crazy shit out of all of that. You just get a little bit of it, and let's try it out. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little half of it just to see what it comes out to be. Ooh. <laughs> Don't forget, folks, uh, not this weekend, but the next Saturday night we go live again. And that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm ready. I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about, so let's just jump in their feet first and get it done. And I'm popping them little button things, and I'm getting my button out. <laughs> oh, my so gosh. I can't help myself when I get near those things. I just got to pop them. Yep. So uh, talk about we'll put the links in the description. The, we'll put a link in the description to New Hope and uh, Sketched Airbrush and Joanne's Fabrics, all three. So uh, we've got quite a few exciting videos coming out. So uh, I hope y'all tune in and watch them. Got some really crazy paints coming up. My old mind's been really wondering since I quit drinking coffee. I'm just lying, folks. I live on coffee. So. <laughs> I was going to say, when did you quit it? 10 o'clock this morning? <laughs> yep. <laughs>
I can't wait to paint this, folks. But I'm going to have to wait a day or two. So, uh, I imagine that the video will come out on this pretty quick. But he put a lot of time and effort into this. They're beautiful. And oh, my gosh. God Almighty, I don't know that I can do it justice for I'm what it is. Take some portrait pictures of them before you paint them. Absolutely. Uh, I very much doubt that these will ever be fished. Uh, see, I, you see, it's you think it's all me, guys. It's not. These these lures hold a very special place in my heart. So uh, you know how that goes. That's gonna be fun. That crankbait, my God. I already know what I'm gonna do with both of them, folks. Uh, Where's the one I won? I ain't telling you nothing, woman. Oh, I want to show everybody the one I won. It's so pretty. No. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to do this one in a patchwork perch. And this one's just going to be a surprise to everybody. A newer pattern that I have that nobody's seen yet. And I, I, I am so thankful. Ron, I don't know how to thank y'all enough, you and your wife. Uh, but I got some ideas. So that's the baits that he carved for me. If you have any interest in anything like this and doing it yourself, uh, get a hold of Ron and on Facebook, New Hope uh, Fish and Lures, and y'all y'all hash that out. So, also, he makes me some special paint called Shifty Peach. That's a pretty color. I'm telling you, Ron is awesome. Uh, the people that's not following him are crazy. This guy has some off the wall stuff as I do. And it's very beautiful. It's all artwork. It's awesome. And that's all that's in there. In that box. Mine was in there. Where's mine? I don't know where yours is at. I put it back in that box. I had not seen your lure. You are a fabricator. So Ron, old buddy, guess what? Let me show you what I done did. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look what you did. This is the lure that she <laughs> won from Ron. And I have in clay, encased it in glass, in plastic, and all kinds of stuff. And it's going to get locked over there in the cabinet. And she's not going to fish it, Ron. That's just the end of that little conversation. Well, I'm going to bust your bubble because that's what I bought those for. That's mm -hmm. where it was going in the first place. <laughs> So, yeah, hey, look at that lure, show me. folks. That is just gorgeous. Oh, I love These it. Are God, it's beautiful. Hand carved, oh my God, they're just so unique and so different. Ron is such a talented dude. I wouldn't have the patience to sit there and do that. I'd get mad and I'd chunk that sucker across the room. And, to carve, uh, you wouldn't have the patience to carve, but you have the patience to paint. Well, that's a big difference. And he tied the, that tail, I think, is hand tied. It looks hand tied yeah, to me. It looks hand tied. It is probably. I'm sure it is. So, I mean, folks, if you didn't follow Ron on Facebook, you need to. Hopefully, we get him a YouTube channel going before long. Uh, lock that in the cabinet, please. Yes, sir. So, I kind of showed y'all these the other night. No, that video didn't come out. Okay. So I didn't show y'all these the other night. I was showing somebody else these the other night. These are pretty unique. Uh, my wife found them somewhere on that eBay. eBay. Uh, you know, if you have special lures that you don't want to use, this is it. It's a floating jewelry display case. It's called a floating jewelry display case, folks. Uh, if I can get it to pop open. Okay. You just push that little. It, I don't know what they cost. They weren't very expensive. It was under two dollars. Under two dollars, and we just uh, put the lure in here, get it kind of where we want it, and, and then take the hair dryer yeah. and heat that plastic up, and it just melts around that bait, and you can close it right in there, and it floats just like that. They're pretty cool. 
Uh, she might be able to link the description and uh, where she got them at. So might be able to do that. Right? She might be able to do that. So would you please put that back over there? Because I know I got some more lures coming that's going to be in there. <laughs> There's just some lures that I just refuse to fish. And uh, stuff like this. I may fish one of them. But this one I'll never fish. So, and Ron, it's nothing against you, buddy. It's just that they have special meaning to me. So, now let me show you what I have for you, buddy. I want the whole world to see what I've been working on for you. And you'll probably see it before this video gets here because it will be to your house before then because it's going out in the mail tomorrow morning. So I've been painting some lures for Ron and uh, doing some different stuff. I painted him a, a big old musky bait here and I painted him a different pattern, little perch there and I painted Dory. Yeah, show both cameras. For Mr. Ron. That's just amazing. <laughs> yeah. And he's got a couple of more baits in here that I don't, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag before he sees them, but that's all right, I'm going to. So uh, I painted him a 2.5, and this is a patchwork, one of my patchwork perch, especially done just for him. And I painted him a another musky bait. That one that is I on the channel that you were saying. Yeah, about. this one's been painted on the channel. And I wanted him to have one. So let me show y'all our latest thing. Or maybe my wife can help explain it. It's like a build a bait workshop. It's a build a bait workshop <laughs> that we're doing. It comes with the bait. It comes with a piece of wrap. Most of them will. Yeah, they'll all be different. Yeah, they'll all be different. The eyes, the hooks, the rings, the keepers, everything will be in here. And Ron, you're my guinea pig. I'm sending you this swim bait, and I want you to paint it for me. Hey, it's got the eyes, it's got everything you need in there except paint, buddy. I want you to paint that, and let's see what you come up with. That's a pretty high dollar little bait right there. So uh, the tail is in there and there's two little plastic clips for that tail. Make sure you don't lose them there actually in the bag with the tail, buddy. So uh, little bitty, tiny, clear plastic things. So uh, there you go, Ron, build a bait. So, booyah. So let's uh, stick this back in here. Remember, folks, to go check him. I'm going to let her stick this back in here because I'll stick it in there wrong and then I'll be getting the bad words said at me. And... Just leave it laying there until the other one. Okay. i got to stick it back in. I can't leave it laying there. <laughs> so. Will you? Oh, my gosh. Give it. Yeah. Give it. Before I start throwing stuff. Give it, give it. Okay. <laughs> now, our next artist that we're going to feature on tonight's little deal is sketched airbrushing and they're out of hot springs arkansas and folks this guy is super super talented uh he actually painted this for me uh it is unbelievably gorgeous so if y'all would like one uh sketched airbrushing this is what he painted for me. It's a license plate cover. But, no, it's a... Or not a cover, just a license plate. Just license plate. And he did a phenomenal job. My God, I've been checking some of his stuff out. He is super, super talented. So if y'all have any interest in anything like this, sketched airbrushing. Put it down a little bit. That guy is super, super talented. Yeah, that yeah. is gorgeous. You can see it really well there. Yeah, and then it'll turn it back this way. 
but it's my logo and he painted it for me I love it uh, I'm probably gonna be ordering some more stuff from him myself uh, I need one for my RV I need one for my boat and if she let me buy me a new Harley I'm gonna need one for that one too so you're not getting a Harley you can't keep from falling out of that chair. You think I'm going to buy you a Harley? You crazy. I'll buy my own. <laughs> he is definitely crazy. So uh, I just wanted to give him a huge shout out. Sketched airbrush. I mean, this dude is so talented. But he does a phenomenal job, folks. I'm absolutely in love with what he's done for me. Even the detail in the ugly little dog on there is pretty right on. Ugly little dog, he's so cute and you keep calling him ugly. I'm just going to leave it at that. But I am just uh, overly, overly impressed with him and Ron. I mean all you guys are just great artists. and. Everybody has their own niche on their baits that they paint, their own way to paint baits. And what works for one won't work for another. And sometimes you can combine your ideals and make a really good ideal. So, But I just wanted to give both those guys a shout out. So that's about all I really wanted to talk about was these two guys tonight. Uh, you got to check both of them out uh, Ron over at New Hope fishing lures and sketched airbrush they're out of Hot Springs Arkansas so uh, they're just awesome artists both of them so uh, remember to like subscribe and share and uh, stick with me and let's get these baits painted up and see what we come up with I have my ideals going through my redneck head all the time so, so we're gonna make them very unique and very different. So uh, you folks have a blessed evening and I'll catch you later.